Spam, spam. Today I thought I'd do a, a paint with me because there's something that's bugging me from 2023. So every year I get a llama cam ca camera calendar. And. Nope, not that one. This guy. August 2023, I fell in love with him. Like, he was the cutest llama I've ever seen in my whole entire life. And all I wanted to do was paint him. I just wanted to paint him. He's so beautiful. So, guess we're going to paint him. I couldn't leave him in 2023 and just forget about him. He was still in my mind. Like, what? Six months a year, five months a year. So, I've sketched him out. I don't know how well this is going to go. Anxiety's kicking in. <laughs> I feel like I've made the face too cartoon. Like, I was really going for realism, but... We'll just see. Terrified. Anxiety. <laughs> Anxiety is making me uh, procrastinate. Going in now. Panic over. <laughs> so I'm going in with the dark bits on the face first. Probably wasn't the smartest choice, but all the lighter colours on him were sort of in his fur. His face was quite dark, so... Disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm doing. Just winging it. <laughs> I haven't watched any tutorials. I don't... All I have is the information I've collected from videos I've watched in the past. But I'm not saying it's going to be a masterpiece. I'm not saying it's going to be any good. But I had an urge and I needed to fix that urge. He needed to be painted. I've never done the fur texture in my life, apart from cartoon style, obviously. So, this is going to be interesting. So far, it is looking good. We'll get to the rest of him. I'm still working on the, the dark areas first. Going in with a lighter brown, blending those together. Probably going to see a lot more painting this year because I just got a buttload of canvas paper. I shop at the works, it's a UK store, but they had canvas paper pads. 50p each. Oof! Oof! <laughs> Bargain. <laughs> Nabbed those up. <laughs> so I've got about... I think I ordered six of them. A lot more canvas stuff coming. <laughs> It's definitely getting there. That face isn't bad. I just always have trouble with the teeth. And because everything's wet there, it's all smudging. So I'm going to have to come back to the teeth. Um, his face was a little lighter than in the picture. So 
Uh, I am darkening it up now. Maybe went a little too dark. But I have that space there because that's where his hair starts. So yeah, that's going to start coming down onto his face area. Started off a little too light. It just looks like a wig at this point, but we'll work on it. <laughs> And, like the texture of the paper was annoying me. It kept leaving like little speckles everywhere. Like it was covering. So me trying to do the fur texture was just annoying it. See, I'm losing all like the the definition of the fur now. It's very annoying. I'm just trying to add some to the edges to see if that helps. You can kind of see the texture, I guess. The, the browns are too close, but I'm going to let that dry and do the background. And here is the finished piece. Well, <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not the finished piece. <laughs> but we go from <laughs> this to that, and oh my god, it's awful. But for a first attempt, I'm not going to. He's too dark. I think that's the problem. Let's see if any lighting helps. <laughs> I think mine is a different size as well. He has less neck on him in that picture. Should have done his face bigger focus more on the details on there it's a first attempt I'm not I don't normally paint like this so I'm not gonna hate on myself for it but maybe it's something that I can work on throughout the year and maybe come back to it at the end of the year or next year and be like let's draw my llama again <laughs> see if we've improved Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. While you're there, hit that like, hit that subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. <laughs>